Hello my Wolfpack and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Competitive Guide video. So today we're covering Reggie Alecki. Reggie Alecki obviously having such a huge speed stat at base 200, meaning that it can be over 500 in its speed naturally, which means it outspeeds I think every single Pokemon barring a few Scarfed um, Mons that are base 130, 140-ish area. Uh, the only downside to this is the fact that it does have very low defences and HP, meaning that potentially a rather strong Pokemon could come in and Oko it. Now, there are a few ways of getting around this. So one way on this first set I've come up with is having a Focus Sash. Now, obviously, you can replace this Focus Sash with something like Life Orb or uh, some kind of Berry or something that would allow for you to potentially um, get some increase in your stats, in your attack stats, because uh, your attacks at base 100 whilst that's really good, it is also a little bit lackluster and probably won't take out every single Pokemon. Now, I really love the Focus Sash idea from Regieleki uh, because it allows you to live hopefully two hits, assuming that it's not like a uh, dual chop scenario or a multi-hit scenario from that like cloister, but uh, that Focus Sash is very handy to have, um, unless there's like rocks or something, you would definitely have to have a um, Pokemon that gets rid of rocks on the field as well. Move wise, oh sorry, ability. Ability is transistor. Now transistor, uh, the attacking stat is multiplied by 1.5 while using an electric type attack, and that is on top of stab. So you go to 2.25 times in your uh, attack stat, uh, whichever attack it is. Um, and yeah, 2.25 times damage, for example, Thunder Cage, which uh, 2.25 times that is like. Uh, 180 base power, which is absolutely huge. Obviously, if you want to use Thunderbolt, it's a bit more powerful, um, then you can go for that. But I've got the Thunder Cage here because it is Reggie Alecki's exclusive move. It traps and damages the target for four to five turns. So make sure they don't switch out and you just keep on damaging them for four to five turns. Now, hopefully by that point, uh, having that little bit extra damage, that can get rid of any Sash Pokemon uh, by having that extra damage if you're taking them down to a Sash, for example. Volt Switch is also a really good move here if you need to switch out and get out of there um, because a scary Pokemon has come in or a Pokemon um, that you kind of can't deal with. So, for example, Ground Types are a Pokemon that's really difficult to deal with, although you wouldn't Volt Switch on them. Um, I'm just trying to think anything else. Grass Types, maybe. Grass Types are difficult to deal with, so Volt Switching out is something you can do. Ancient Power, powerful Rock Type attack. It can raise all your stats by one if you get that stat boost. Um, it's 10% chance, so it's a low chance to get it. But if you get that stat boost, uh, Reggie Alecki honestly can go in and just completely destroy everything. So if you get that ancient power boost, it will just destroy and hopefully get you a 6-0. And then finally, I've got Swift. Swift is uh, basically the only other move that I could come up with for Reggie Alecki. Uh, it has a very narrow special move pool uh, in the sense that it only has uh, electric type attacks, ancient power, and Swift in its uh, special pool. So... It can do one thing on the special side, and that is completely destroy. Uh, but it doesn't have kind of that breadth to be able to hit all the different Pokemon. EVs. Now, you can run this a couple of ways. You can run this as max HP, max special attack with a modest nature, so more special attack, less attack. Because naturally, you have about 432 speed, which is still a lot more than... Um, I think it might be 436, actually. But you have a lot more speed than most other Pokemon just naturally without any investments. You don't have to invest any speed in this thing. If you are concerned about certain Scarf Pokemon or maybe a Dragon Dance Pokemon, uh, then you can go for that speed investment because you hopefully should outspeed uh, most Pokemon even if they've got a plus one. So speed, I've gone for max speed, max special attack, uh, modest nature. Don't ever bother going for the uh, timid nature on this one because honestly the modest nature is going to work far better for you giving that, that little bit more damage output in total so yeah you can go the max hp max special attack or max special attack max speed uh as i say you don't have to do the speed investment it doesn't really matter if you do do it or don't do it um obviously it depends on what team you're kind of running on what you want regular lucky to do excuse me we've got a bit of a sniffle today the second set we've got is uh, a leftover set with Reflect, Light Screen, Rapid Spin, and Thunder Cage. Now, Reflect and Light Screen can work very nicely in your favour. It allows for you to raise up your defence and your special defence. Obviously, depending on if you've gone for max defence or max special defence, I would recommend doing the uh, opposite one. So, if you've got max defence like this one, I'd go for Light Screen first to get your special defence up. Uh, but you could also go for the Reflect as well afterwards. 
just to make sure that you've got that little bit extra uh, kind of support for you. Or you can always run this on a different Pokemon and have Regieleki come in with um, its attacks and just start wrecking. Got Rapid Spin as well. Rapid Spin gets rid of any uh, status, not status, any hazards on the field. Uh, so things like Stealth Rocks, uh, Spikes, all that kind of stuff. Um, toxic Spikes as well, they can, they can see a comeback. Oh, they haven't really left, but yeah, they, you can see Toxic Spice as well. We've got Thunder Cage as well as the final move, um, which, as I said, good electric type attack and does that residual damage. Now, Rapid Spin uh, also raises up your speed. You don't need that speed raise, but it does raise up your, raise up your speed. Um, so that's something that can be done. EVs go for max HP, max defense with a bold nature, so more defense and less attack, and four EVs in a special attack, just boosting that Thunder Cage ever so slightly. You could also go for max HP, max special defense, and I think it's a careful nature, I just need to check. No, it's a calm nature, so with a calm nature, increasing up your uh, special defense a little bit more as well, so that will allow you to live, hopefully, a few more hits. Moving on to our first Dynamax set, so as I said before with the Reflect and Light Screen, if you have a different Pokemon on the team for filling that role, or you have an Aurora Veil, that can work very nicely for you, because uh, Regieleki can then hopefully live a hit or two. And the idea here is to have the weakness policy activate. So if you had, for example, doubles with Bulldoze, um, the Regieleki would take some damage, the weakness policy would activate, and then you would have access to a vast, well, variety, sorry, of moves, which can do a lot of damage. Now I've gone for a physical set here. You could always go for a special set with the move set that I did originally, but physically we've got acrobatics, which doubles in power when you lose your item, not to mention your double so attack stat, so it's like 656 uh, with your doubled acrobatics, that would do a lot of damage, um, especially to a lot of Pokemon that you might not want to see, so for example grass types, fighting types as well, uh, could do a lot of damage. Wild Charge, powerful electric type attack, um, boosted by the transistor and the stab as well. Uh, honestly, you will get some recoil on this, so do be cautious with it, but it is the only physical option you have for Regieleki, um, and it doesn't quite have those attack and special attack stats to allow for it to be able to be a mix sweeper. Um, some of you might disagree with that, but personally, I think it's best to invest in that wild charge rather than the uh, Thunderbolt or the Thunder Cage in the special attack stat. Body Slam, which is a powerful normal type attack, also has a chance to paralyze different Pokemon, which is really good, really handy. Um, slowing them down. Now, obviously, you don't need to slow them down for Regieleki's sake, but for another Pokemon later on um, that comes in later on, you might need that. And finally, we've got Extreme Speed, just in case you've got a Pokemon coming in uh, that is going to be causing some problems. Uh, so, for example, something with uh, Muck Punch or Cell Rock or... Um, trying to think of priority moves, but any pri priority move, extreme speed, because of your speed, you'll be outspeeding them, um, so that extreme speed will be able to do damage to them. EVs, you've got a very similar approach to la of the first set. We've got um, max attack and max speed with Adam and Nature, some more attack with special attack, and four EVs and special defense. You can always go for max HP, max attack if you want to, with the, again, with the Adam and Nature. It's entirely up to you. Obviously, with 436 base speed, uh, that speed, I'm trying to think what would actually outspeed it. I know Mega Beedrill has 404. I think uh, Tabu Coco has 400 and something, 430-ish. So you might want a little bit of investment there just outspeed the Tabu Coco, but um, you don't need so much speed investment. And then, yeah, that's the third set. So that's a third uh, Dynamax set. And the final Dynamax set I've got is Rising Voltage set. Now, if you've watched my videos before, you know I love uh, the Rising Voltage, Grassy Terrain, oh sorry, not Grassy Terrain, Grassy Glide, Expanding Force uh, moves. We've got Terrain Extender on here, it's extending the terrain from five turns to eight turns when you set it up using Max Lightning when you Dynamax. Sorry, I'm really snuffly today, and that is probably coming through on the video a lot. Um, I've also put the, oh, you could also put the Electric Seed on here to allow you to raise up your defense stat, which obviously is going to benefit Regieleki quite a bit. Move wise, we've then got protect. Now protect you can do when you're max, uh, your Dynamax. You can use it as max guard, or you can use it when you're normal, just to scout up some moves. Ancient power. Now you can use that as max rockfall if you want to to set up a sandstorm if you need to get some chip damage on things. And then I've put thunder on here just in case you don't have the scenario where you can use the rising voltage, which doubles in power. Uh, you can use the thunder, which is very powerful, obviously. EVs come from max HP, max special attack, and a modest nature, so more special attack, less attack, and four EVs in special defense. 
So you could go for max speed here again as well, but I think uh, max HP would probably work. Maybe a little bit of investment in speed, like I don't know, 40 investment in speed, giving you enough to outspeed basically everything. Anyways, that is all for today, so I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please do like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Anyways, I'm out of here, so have a good one, and I'll see you soon.